After trying out one of the most delicious eateries in Kerrville, it's time to explore the town square. Now let's go ahead and explore together. Let's go ahead and stop at the Turtle Creek Olives and Vines Tasting Room, known for their wine by the glass or bottle. I'm here with the owners, Sue, and Dan. So guys, thank you for having me. And I really want to know what was your inspiration behind your establishment here? Like it's very unique when you walk in here and it's a great place for people to gather. What was your like thought process and your inspiration behind here? Well, we hiked all over Tuscany from uh, village to village in Singaterra and decided that the hill country is not unlike Tuscany. And yeah. so we thought it would be kind of fun to have olive trees, which we did start out with olives and they weren't as successful as we would like. So Dan at one point said, would you like a few grapevines, honey? And I'm thinking three or four. And the next week you had 400 grapevines on the driveway. No. Yes. And so we planted grapes and they were, Silver. They, they did great. And so we thought, okay, well, let's just expand with the grapes. The olives moved on. And meanwhile, we didn't really have um, we didn't really have a product to sell, but we had this. We found this beautiful building downtown and thought it would be great for a tasting room in Kerrville. Yeah. And we thought that Kerrville could benefit from a quiet, relaxed space where you can have a glass of wine and a conversation. And this is honestly what you guys have created. And how long has this been open? We opened in June of 2019. June 2019, okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys for sharing me about the history about your establishment and learning. And what you guys are doing is very inspiring and you guys are really giving back to the community and offering such a great place for people to gather and Enjoy some really good wine here. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Yes, thank um, you. I think you've got the nailed it. <laughs> cheers. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Hey, cheers okay. enough. Tucked away upstairs is a elevated VIP access to a newly renovated space for wine club members. It's a unique place to relax, enjoy, drink and sip wine, and of course, have fun and enjoy some arcade fun. Alrighty guys, so I'm here with Corey and you're the manager and also you do a lot of creating of the food as well, correct? Well, yes, a little bit here and there. And what do we have here? So this is going to be our charcuterie board. Uh, so we're mm -hmm. going to have a little uh, Spanish manchego, Italian mimolette, which is going to be this orange cheese right here. And it looks phenomenal. And then we have this uh, right here, which is some goat cheese. Yes. Uh, kind of, you know, sprinkled with some herbs that we cook, you know, do here locally. Okay. Uh, then on the salami side, uh, this is going to be the finocina. Ugh. Uh, on this side, uh, it's going to be water buffalo cacciatore, and then on this far side is going to be the tartufo. So it's going to be a little truffle influenced uh, salami. 
They're okay. All really awesome. Real so local. there's a wide range of different meats and cheeses. So. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, let's let's try some of those. All I'm right. drooling already. Well, let's see. <laughs> Cheers. Oh yeah, it's really nice. Sure is. Mm -hmm. Water buffalo actually really stood out to me. Yes, ma'am. It's so good. It's definitely my and favorite. It's something that I've never tried. So and it's very not, unique when you bite you, into it. Yes, ma'am. And it's not something you're really gonna find on you know other cheese boards. You know we kind of absolutely try not. to keep it's it unique. Very in that unique way. here. Yes, ma'am. And I just can't stop eating this. Great. That one's gonna be a truffle influence. You know they have some white truffle in it. Um, but just real awesome. Uh, it's something you really just don't get in the, you know, other places as well. I don't know the correct way to eat it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in. Yeah. Just, ever, just how you wanna do it. Okay, let's <laughs> dig in. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. She's in heaven. I am. And this is honestly the perfect compliment for like drinking with your wine. It's light, it's tasty, and just the right amount of like goodness that you really want. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, I love doing it, especially on date nights. It's just one of those things, you know, you come out here, you get it, and it's just, you know, can't get it other places. So. Absolutely. What kind of cheese spread is this? So this is goat cheese, but then it has like kind of like a little Italian herb um, kind of mixed into it, uh, kind of drizzled with some honey on top. Um, so it just really brings out some, you know, unique flavors. I'm already like drooling. I'm sure you eat like at least five of these charcuterie boards a day. I do. <laughs> I have like so many sensations like going on right now. Oh my god! And it's 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 awesome because you get kind of you know a little sweet, a little bit of that kind of goat cheese that kind of brings out all. You know, I can taste the sweetness for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. So it definitely you know kind of develops as you kind of eat into it. And so I taste like was it organo or some kind of spice? So kind of in that Italian blend, you get you know oregano, you get some uh, some red pepper, uh, a couple different things, you know like some garlic salt, a couple other little things that really bring out those flavors. But. It really brings it out and takes it to another level. Yes, I like this. What's your favorite thing on the charcuterie? Uh, definitely would be the meats. Uh, yeah. Then you know. Goat cheese definitely is always a great thing and it really pairs well with red wines and things like that. So it's, you know, everything really is going to be, you know, kind of my favorite, but. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, what do we have here? All right, so in front of you, you got This the, looks really special. It is. You know, we do it in home. Uh, we raise the lambs, uh, then we get them processed, we bring it here, and we make everything from scratch. But this is going to be our Lebanese style meatballs with a little bit of hummus, a little olive oil, and then some pita bread. Um, that just kind of pairs awesomely together. All right, let's go ahead and All try right. them. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is one incredible meatball. It's super savory and it's very unique. What kind of meat was that? Lamb meat. Lamb meat. Yeah, that's that we exactly. raise, you know. You know Gosh. Take a lot of care into those lambs. And then... Never had lamb meatballs ever before. You guys are doing <laughs> something right. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Alrighty. And then you just mix it with the pita bread. There's some hummus right here. And just, there it is. Alrighty, guys. So I'm here with Andre. And he is the senior management in Sami Game. Yes. Right. And we are going to be trying some signature wines here. Correct. Correct. So what do we? What are we going to try? Well, first thing. I'm curious. Yeah. When you come to Turtle Creek, yeah. you should really think about uh, a broader experience. Number one, because we have Texas wines, but then we have international wines. So it's a little different from most wineries that you visit in Texas. So we have our signature wines, which of course is under our label. And they're 100% Texas. But then again, we have a, a beautiful body glass 
list. So it's, it's a good opportunity to uh, not only try our wines from Texas, but to explore other parts of the world and see how good Texas is doing. Exactly, and this is like a hidden gym. It is a gym, yeah. Very hidden This room is like a parlor, and it's very comfortable. Uh, leather chairs, uh, it's a sit-down service. We have tapas if you're hungry. Uh, but tapas, I do right? Want. I know, right, right? I think she likes the tapas, right? <laughs> Do you like the tapa? Absolutely. Yeah. It's all about food and wine. Yeah. You know, the food and wine. People overlook it. We designed a menu here that really complements the wine. So, yes, so we're going to try everything Texas for the next few minutes. This okay. is the white blend. White blend. And this is like a Chardonnay. It's just made with two different grape varietals. So if it's not 75% of one grape, you can't call it a grape. Okay. All right. And this is a blend of 70. Uh, this wine will taste like a Chardonnay, but it won't have like that green apple kind of thing or um, stone fruit instead. And stone fruit would be like peaches, apricots. Oh my. Yeah. What, but you get a little citrus tone on the back end. Is this like the way you're supposed to like yeah, so properly? When you, when, you, when you go into a tasting, try to go from your eyes to your nose to your mouth, okay? So you look at the wine, you look at the color, if there's any sediment, you swirl the wine and smell. Then when you put your nose in a glass, don't be scared. Don't be scared? I, I know you're scared. And you'll smell it. You'll smell it. Stuck at the glass. Yeah, you. Oh my gosh. That's lovely. Lovely. It's like a, a roller coaster ride. It is a roller coaster. And it's still it, in your it, palate. It, it's still going yeah. too. That's a good sign. I love that. And you know, I don't really like white wine. No. This is this is a really good one. What's wrong yeah. with you, girl? It's hot. I, I know. Oh. <laughs> This is behind the scenes, and I am doing some wine tasting here with Andre and learning a little bit about the wine. <laughs> well, welcome back. We're our Alrighty, number, welcome back. number two. Yes. Number two, and it's always going to be a progression of light to heavy. Right? Okay. So is that the way you should normally do it? So I mean, you can you can go back and forth, but it's okay. it's going to mess with your palate. So what I would recommend. If you do a white wine, you know, progress your way up, get heavier and heavier. Okay. This is a good example of a rosé. And a rosé is made from red wine. Yes. So we're getting away from citrus. We're going more toward berry flavors. Let's do a little splash and smell. Yes. Splash and smell. Yeah. So eyes, nose, mouth, right? Okay. See? Swirl. Swirl. Smell. Ching. That's, that's the only sense of hearing. <laughs> you know, drinking is the fun part of it. Oh. Refreshing. It's very refreshing. I know. Especially yeah. out in this Texas heat. Oh, Come yeah. in and enjoy a glass of this. We are now moving to number three. Number three. And number three is a red blend. 100% Texas. <laughs> the passion, the passion yes. is... Show me... Yeah. Did you drink enough? <laughs> Not yet. I think you need more. Oh. Oh. Oops. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My kind of girl. <laughs> I'm gonna, I have to hang out a few more. Ooh, that, that Swish it around. Now watch how it rolls and lingers and keeps on going. Hi guys, so I'm here with Casey and we are going to try the gelato. Mm. What kind of gelato do we have All here? Right. This is our Turtle Creek Olive Oil Gelato. It's custom made uh, by Oro Bianco Creamery out of Blanco, Texas. There you go. Are you drilling? <laughs> Wow, 
That is really unique in flavor and mm -hmm. it's super delicious and so heavenly. Mm -hmm. You picking up on that olive oil in there? I do. Mm -hmm. And that sea salt. Nice hint on there. I like to mix it with cinnamon. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> when I fall so back, that means it's just so good. <laughs> the flavor knocked you out of the boots. <laughs> knocked me out, it's just so good. After that oh so yummy gelato, I'm gonna have a glass of wine from the back patio, enjoying the Texas Hill Country sun.